Today I'm coming to you from Cumberland. Where am I coming from? Cumberland Island. Hey everyone and welcome to another episode. Today I'm coming to you from Cumberland Island National Seashore. And we're out here on the Salt Marsh Walk. If you take a look behind me, you can actually see the Salt Marsh. Right now we're at low tide, so we have a little tidal creek right here. Uh, salt Marsh Creek running through here. And you see lots of oyster beds behind me. There's a great blue heron over there. Um, what determines the flow of this little creek is not gravity, like a true creek or river, but the direction the tide is running. So when the tides are coming in on a rising tide, this is these the water flows inland on a falling tide. When the tide is dropping, going towards low tide, uh, the water is flowing out of this area. Very biodiverse and very rich area. Uh, you can imagine in these oyster beds behind me, just the amount of life that's probably uh, crawling and found all through there. They say the real uh, action is actually happening in the soil itself, especially at the bacterial level. There is just so much going on here. Uh, we see some marsh grasses out here, salt marsh grasses. There's a tricolor heron flying away right there. Uh, so there's also a lot of uh, detritus being left, so a lot of primary production, a lot of material being dropped, uh, organic material. Let's see what we can see up here. I'm looking down here. I see tons of filler crabs. So maybe you can see them. Can you see the filler crabs? All right, another really neat feature to show you here. Here I'm in one ecosystem, we see the salt marsh. And if you look right over here, we see the maritime forest. So literally this zone right here where I'm pointing to is called an, it's called an ecotone, a transition between two different uh, ecosystems. So another factor too about the oyster, the American oyster, that we see this bed out here, they're actually a keystone species because so many other species are dependent on them in the structure that they make, these oyster reefs, oyster beds. Uh, oysters start off as a larval form, as plankton, just drifting around the ocean in the waters. And uh, when they find suitable habitat, they settle out. Usually there's a signal. Usually when other oysters are in the area, they pick up on some sort of cue in the water and they will settle out of the water column and start growing as oyster spat. It's kind of the first stage. So uh, they, they're physically attached to the bottom. Uh, they're intertidal, meaning that um, part of the day they can be exposed to the air, part of the day they're underwater. <clears throat> Filter feeders and they are bivalves, class bivalvia, and they are a mollusk. So a little bit about the uh, saltwater tidal marsh and thanks for watching. Battery empty. Maybe I recorded that.